Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Mike Kermis and today we're going to do a principle number one of the 12 principles of animation, right? I'm going to show you how that works in uh, Maya and I'm also going to show you how you can create your very own deform-based uh, ball rig so you can do a squash and stretch animation, okay? So let's uh, jump in and check it out. Here we go. Hi hey guys, so uh, as mentioned a while back, I did a video on one of the uh, 12 animation principles. This is the second video in that series, and today we're gonna to be talking about squash and stretch, okay? Now the best way to illustrate that is a bouncing ball, and here you have an example of a bouncing ball sequence where the ball is not deforming at all, right? It's not stretching, it's not squashing, and so forth. Now I'll show you another image that will show you exactly what this is all about. If you look at this image, you see that as the ball is dropping, it's starting to stretch out as if uh, gravity is kind of pulling it in that direction. And once it hits the floor, you see it squashes right here, okay? Now that over-exaggerated effect is something typical in animation. And uh, what I wanna do today is show you guys how you can create a, a deformer rig for a ball in Maya, so you can actually do that yourself, okay? So we're not gonna do the actual animation, we're gonna do the rig for the ball so you can do the animation. All right, here we go. Okay, so we are in Maya 2018, and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna simply create a polygon sphere. Now, because this is gonna be deforming, make sure you have enough uh, subdivision on it so uh, it doesn't look too clunky when it deforms, but you don't want it to be too high poly either because it will lag your system, okay? All right, so I have that, and what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go in uh, to deform under the modeling menu, and I'm gonna go to Lattice, hit the option box, go to Edit, Reset, just to make sure we're all on the same page, and hit Create. Now, as we do this, you can see that this lattice box has been created around the sphere, and I want to uh, kind of tweak those settings a little bit. So I'm gonna hit uh, Control A to open up the attribute editor. We're gonna go in and we're gonna set this to two, two, and two, okay? Now, how does this work? Well, if I go in and I right click on my lattice, I can go to lattice point, I can drag select any of these corners, and by pulling on it, I can deform the ball as you can see all right let's hit Control z to go back but what i want to do in this case is i want to basically combine all four of these top ones so i can do this and the same with the bottom ones but i don't want to have to go in and select all four of these every time so instead with these four points selected i'm going to go up to uh, deform and i'm going to select cluster which will create a tiny letter c on top of the sphere right there and with that selected, I have the exact same deal. All right, cool. So then we're gonna go down here and we're gonna right click, go to lattice point again. We'll drag select these as well. And again, we're gonna go to cluster. Now that's all good. I can now deform that top and bottom. But again, it's a very tiny letter C and it's kind of hard to get control over, all right? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add some uh, nerve controls um, so I can grab that easier and work with that easier, okay? So we're gonna go to uh, create nerves primitives and let's go to circle, which will place one in the middle. We'll hit R to scale it out a little bit. I'm gonna hit control D to duplicate and W to move up. I want one for that letter C. I'll make that one a bit smaller. And I'm going to control D to duplicate once again, hit W, push that down. Let's see if we got roughly the same distance. Yeah, it looks okay. And that one will be used for the bottom. Now, first, what I want to do is select all three of these guys and go to uh, edit, delete by type history, but more importantly, modify and freeze transformation. So basically I'm setting the values, the location values to zero, zero, and zero. So this is their home base, if you will, okay? So how do we get those controls to work? Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna parent them. So I'm gonna create a, a parent-child relationship as that is called in Maya. I'm first gonna go in and select that little letter C, which is the child. I'm gonna shift select that control on top and I'm gonna hit the letter P on my keyboard. So now if I take this curve right here, it will work, okay? 
We're gonna go down here, we're gonna do the same. So I'm gonna select that letter C, which is kind of tricky. Let's uh, make sure we have nothing else going on there. Just the letter C, yeah. Shift select that curve, hit the letter P. All right, now I want the uh, main control here to uh, operate the sphere and everything else, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is first, I'm gonna make sure that these other controls are paired to this one, okay? So we're gonna select this guy, we're gonna shift select this, and we're gonna P on the keyboard, select that one, shift select that one, and hit P on our keyboard, okay? Now, uh, that looks okay, you would think, but we still need to figure a problem. If I take this guy and I move it, Actually, normally the lattice would not move, but it seems to be fine, so that's good. And it's probably, and I'll show you, if you run into that problem, it's probably because of where your curves are, okay? Now, if it is not working, what you need to do is you need to move all the controls into your mesh group. But in this case, it turned out quite okay, so that's cool. So let's uh, go in and I'll show you how that worked out. I can take this control right here. I can move that stretch up and down and so forth. I can take this one, do the same down here. And I can take my main control and I can move this around in any direction I want. That is basically all there's to it, guys. So hopefully you will have fun with this. If you end up using this to make a bouncing ball uh, animation, please leave the link below. I would love to see it. And uh, that said, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this little video. If you did, hit that like button. And if you don't want to miss out on future videos, then please make sure you subscribe, okay? Well, that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.